Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of UA Eats. I'm UA, and today we're back in Times Square in Manhattan, New York. Now, we've eaten loads of steak on this channel, and Times Square is actually a great place for steak, even though it's a touristy location. Both Gallagher's and Spark Steakhouse are both around this area, both regarded as two of the best steakhouses in the whole world. However, today we're going to the most touristy and the most divisive of steakhouses in all of New York. We're going to Salt Bay Steakhouse Restaurant aptly called News Red. Now back in 2014 or 15, Salt Bay was on top of the world. Pretty much everyone in the whole world has seen his Salt Bay videos of him, you know, doing this with his salt. But it kind of seems like the dust has kind of settled on Salt Bay now and for whatever reason, it seems like a lot of people aren't really fond of News Rat anymore and a lot of people are kind of sick of him and he's not really well liked, at least by a lot of people. Part of the reason is probably because News Rat wanted to cash in on his fame and he opened a ton of restaurants, a ton of steakhouses and burger joints all over the world and they've kind of received mixed reviews. Some people say they're pretty good, other people say that they're not really that great and they're overpriced tourist traps. I think when it comes to someone like Salt Bay though, he's such a divisive figure and people tend to have strong opinions on him. It's kind of hard to separate the bias, if you know what I mean. Like it's hard to find people who are purely judging his restaurants by the food, especially considering that he actually is a trained chef. Now, we always try to stay objective on this channel and we actually went to Salt Bay Burger here in New York and we felt like it was pretty good, but it seems like News Red Steakhouse is the real divisive place. So we're here in Times Square to see if it actually is good or if it's just a tourist trap. Once again, we promise to be objective. So let's go check it out. Okay, so I'm here inside Salt Bay Steak, named after Salt Bay himself, Nusret. The music is a little bit loud, so I apologize if uh, it's hard to hear my voice, but there's some nice music playing in the background. So this is a really nice atmosphere restaurant. Everyone is dressed in like tuxedos and ties. A uh, really, really nice atmosphere, really nice music, really, really clean restaurant. I mean, just look at the table, really, really clean, no dust at all, really, really clean and immaculate. As you can see, a big poster of Salt Bay in the back. Internet fame kind of went to his head. He's got a big portrait in both of his restaurants, both the burger and the steakhouse. Also, I gotta say one more thing. Uh, this place, it's got some really comfy chairs. Now that might seem like a really minor thing, and it is, but I wanted to point it out. I mean, these are some really nice chairs. Some of the best chairs I've had in any restaurant. So they have a pretty extensive menu, some starters, some salads. Prices a bit on the high end, but not quite unusual for Times Square. The server actually recommended the meat sushi to me. Uh, it's just me by myself, so he said this was a good portion for just one person. But you know, we're all about steak on this channel, so let's look at the steak options. Now they have the same news rip burger as at Salt Bay's restaurant, so I'm not gonna get that. I mean, the appetizers were expensive, but okay for Times Square, but some of these prices are definitely high. Like 80 bucks for filet mignon? I mean, even at good steakhouses, that's more like 40 to 60 bucks. So that's quite a markup for his name. $95 for a Wagyu steak. Ah, I guess that's okay considering it's Wagyu. It really could be more than that, but still expensive. Tomahawk steak, expensive as expected. But just look at these petite strip loins. I mean, 55 bucks, but only three and a half ounces three and a half ounces is really small that's literally like this big and then let's look at some of these other menu items some of these prices are just insane 550 bucks for a tomahawk 750 for a grilled strip loin 2500 bucks for a golden steak i think most things on this menu are beyond my price range so let's just go with the wagyu single steak it's expensive but at least it's wagyu steak and for one person it might not be too bad ready Oh, wait. Yeah, it's 
Uh, thank you. All right, our sulfate steak is here, and the presentation was really cool. They slice it right in front of you, just like in the original viral video. Uh, the guy yells sulfate as he salts it at the end in the signature sulfate pose. But let's take a look at the steak. Now, in terms of the way the steak is cooked, it definitely looks cooked well. I asked for a medium rare. I guess some pieces are a little bit more rare than medium, uh, but you know, I don't mind that. I don't mind my steak a little bit more rare. The steak has some nice grill marks, although I kind of prefer more of a crust than grill marks. I kind of like that crunchy texture to go with a nice soft juicy steak on the inside. I gotta say, overall, the steak doesn't look bad. It's actually a pretty decent portion, too, for Wagyu steak. But, uh, let's dig in. You know, let's see if it's good. Let's see if Salt Bay knows his stuff, or, or if this is all just a big cash grab. You know, the steak is cooked to a really good doneness. It's a pretty good medium rare, more on the rare side than medium, but you know, for me it's a good doneness. It is rather tender, but I would say that the steak is kind of lacking in very strong flavor. It's Wagyu steak, so I was expecting it to be uh, more fatty and therefore the fat really making it melt in your mouth and giving it nice juicy flavor, like a ribeye on steroids. Ironically, I find the steak to be a little bit bland, a little bit almost lean tasting. It's kind of a bummer because we ate at Salt Bay Burger in New York and I thought Salt Bay Burger was excellent. A little bit pricey, but still good. This steak, I don't know, is it Wagyu steak? It probably is Wagyu beef but it's definitely not Texas A5 Wagyu or real Japanese Wagyu. It kind of just tastes like choice steak that you get from the supermarket. It's a very average steak. No. All right, we're gonna continue to give the benefit of the doubt. Let's see if other pizzas taste better. Some pieces definitely taste better than other pieces. I think the piece that we just ate tasted especially good because it had a nice sear on it. It had a bit of a crust. On some other steak pieces though, as you can see, the crust is inconsistent, which kind of makes the steak more rubbery and it doesn't really give it much crunch or good texture. I guess grill marks can look cool sometimes. And when you grill over charcoal, you can infuse the steak with some nice smoky flavor. Mm. Okay, I detect a hint of smokiness, but the real thing that made that bite good was the crust. So I'm gonna try to focus in more on these nice crust charred pieces of steak and less on these pieces that don't have as much crust or sear. Also, really ironically, for a restaurant named after Salt Bay and all about Salt Bay in presentation, name, decoration, everything, it is kind of ironic that I also find the steak to be a little bit under-seasoned. It could stand to be more salty and also have more pepper. Could I get a little more salt? More salt, right? More salt, yeah. Thank you. Mmm. Mmm. Actually, hey, that did it. Just get some crust, more salt, and it's a pretty good steak. Also, I think some pieces of the steak are fattier than others. Some have nice fattiness and nice juiciness in every bite. Other pieces, like the first piece we ate, surprisingly lean and not too flavorful. Mmm. Mmm. Now, the summary of this steak is it's kind of uneven, it's kind of inconsistent. Some pieces are great and juicy and delicious. Other pieces, a little bland, not too juicy, not too fatty. Tender, yes, but flavor and seasoning lacking. Let's finish eating the steak and we'll go outside for some final thoughts. All right guys, so we just stepped outside Salt Bay Steak, News Rit Steak I meant. So we're outside the restaurant and I kind of want to share my honest opinion and not have staff here or customers around me here and influence their dining experience. So overall, I think I had a pretty solid meal. 
I kind of take back what I said at the start of the video. I wouldn't say that the steak was bad quality. I think maybe I just got unlucky at first with a few bland pieces, a few more dry, less fatty pieces. It was a solid steak, although slightly inconsistent, but the tasty parts of the steak were indeed tasty. I would say that it was probably a solid steakhouse, maybe even depending on where you live, maybe even an above average one. But here in New York, especially in Midtown and Times Square, when there's so many legendary and so many great steakhouses around us, I would say that you can definitely do better than News Red, especially for the money. The quality per dollar, not the best out of every restaurant I've been to. That being said, I will say one thing, the restaurant was a lot of fun. It was a great atmosphere, they played great trendy music, both western music, both older music, and some Turkish music. They slice the steak right in front of your eyes, they do all that soap bay stuff. It's a lot of fun. Would I call News Rat Steakhouse a tourist trap? Ah, uh, I'm not so sure. I mean, maybe I just have a specific definition of tourist trap, because what are you doing as a tourist? You're having fun, right? You want fun, exciting, unique experiences. And at News Rat, you definitely are kind of getting that. I mean, they're giving you a very fun, flamboyant, very high energy experience. If you're a fan of Salt Bay, you'll love this restaurant. You'll think it's super fun. But I guess if I have to give my honest opinion, I would say that it's definitely overpriced. Even me getting one of the cheapest things on the menu, 95 bucks, it's a little intense. All the gold items that cost like thousands of dollars, that is just absolutely ridiculous and price gouging and kind of taking advantage of people who love Salt Bay so much that they're gonna spend however much money you ask just for fun experiences. So, okay, I guess I'll say, in my opinion, it's a fun restaurant, it's relatively tasty, but I would probably still consider it a tourist trap just based on the unreasonable price. But that being said, Salt Bay's restaurants are a lot of fun. They do have fun vibes and they really, really know how to cater to Salt Bay fans. So, if you're a Salt Bay fan and you really want to have this experience, I recommend going to Salt Bay Burger further downtown. Anyways, guys, I think that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you've been to News Red Steakhouse, Salt Bay Burger, or any of News Red's restaurants, let me know in the comments because great minds eat alike. If you like my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. That way you stay up to date whenever I post another video. I need to head out now. So, until next time, I'll see you later.